does it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on now, please. Honey, it's a power outage. I, I've got the flashlight. Só com a ideia de mostrar o jogo, pessoal, mas eu acabei pensando. Ah, vou fazer um walkthrough. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know, it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate you. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. Mr. Wake, can I help Park. you with anything? There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. Hey! Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Yeah, 
Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Pode voltar já, né? onde o hall principal. Aqui aquele cara que tava vivo, ele tá. Tem uma página pra pegar aqui, ó. Sempre é bom pegar essas páginas pra entender um pouco da história. Em qualquer momento você pode ler ela, apertando F5. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very Wait here. nice girl. And Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about... Deixa eu diminuir um pouquinho. Diminuir um pouquinho o som, só. Vocês poderiam ouvir um pouco melhor. Não jogo <laughs> minha voz, no caso. Acho que tá bem melhor, eu acho. This. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from ah, the tá desk? Melhor, It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Very clear, Al. What you were saying you were in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, what you formulário. shot a guy? And his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, we you're here. buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops.
this crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Só sair da casa. Aqui para apagar a luz, não vou deixar aceso, né? Que as coisas não tudo se fode. Vou deixar aceso pro gordo coitado. Al, wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with your spirit every step of the way, Al. Watch the door now. Aqui uma outra página do manuscrito. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. <laughs> As luzes, pra ficar de boa. Guarda roupa, munição de revólver, ó. Vou pegar. Munição é sempre bem-vinda. Bem Ai, que isso? Eita. Nossa. Cadeira me matando, que isso? Cadeira possuída, ó. Eita porra. Vou sair dessa casa, meu Deus! Preciso recuperar a vida agora, a cadeira tirou minha vida, coitado. Olha o pneu balançando. Tremendo tudo, a escuridão veio. Very good. Vou verificar se tem alguma coisa aqui. Descendo pela rua, pela estrada na realidade, na mesma rua. Vou subir aqui ver se tem alguma coisa. Se eu for sempre direto pro objetivo, mano. Eu acabo ficando sem pegar essas coisas, por exemplo, essa página aqui. Se alguém for pro objetivo direto, pode ser que não, não consiga pegar essa página depois. Então é sempre bom explorar o mapa. Tem tempo, né? Não tem, não tem tempo, então dá pra ir, vou explorar. Aqui tem outra página, no porta-malas. Continua descendo. Just the way it was on that page. 
I found came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights in the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Like, Rusty right, had well, found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. <laughs> Bagus. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Aqui vai ser alguma coisa, munição, bateria, beleza. Tô com nove baterias, mas para dar. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Ah, o teu cachorro. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a part. License, no pay. The park ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty, Rusty, no, never. Two bears and wolves never approach any other wildlife closer than 25 yards. Cats must be leashed at all times. Never leave a cat unattended. That's from the nail. It is against the law to remove any natural objects or historical artifacts from the park. Gross. This includes even or even simple berries. Oh, 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 Pegar a arma aqui, tem uma caixa de munição aqui atrás. Pronto, tô cheio. Vamos seguir agora.
Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Cara, não tinha acreditado no Alan e tá começando a acreditar agora, já que ele percebeu que ele tá fudido. É o Barry, o amigo dele, aquele do casaquinho vermelho. Hum, bateria, munição tá cheia, então vamos 